This is Dr. Michelle Stafford at World of Smiles Pediatric Dentistry, and today we will be talking about silver diamine fluoride application along with the SMART technique, silver modified atraumatic restorative technique that is. So first off, placing the mouth prop, and then we'll go ahead and do some brushing of the area that we'll be working on. Today we are going to be addressing cavities on teeth number A and B. So clean off the area and then dry it. And then you wanna make sure that you isolate it so you can use a dry angle. And then we are applying the silver diamine fluoride now with the applicator tip. Make sure that it's nice and covered with the silver diamine fluoride liquid. And now we will wait one minute while the silver diamine fluoride penetrates the tooth. After one minute has gone by, we're gonna apply some topical fluoride varnish and then we can be done for the day. Now it's important to take everything out of the patient's mouth and wrap it up immediately in your gloves so that that silver diamine fluoride does not get anywhere. Two weeks later, we'll come in and see that the silver diamine fluoride has worked and arrested the decay on those teeth. And so now we will do the SMART technique. First, we go through with the etching process. And after you scrub those teeth, get them nice and clean. We will go ahead and rinse that off. Once it is nice and rinsed, it doesn't need to be bone dry for the glass ionomer. We will want it to be even slightly moist, but not dripping wet. Then after your assistant has activated the glass ionomer, in this case we're using Fuji 9 that is not light cured, you apply it with the applicator and then I actually use my finger to get it into all the grooves and crevices of the teeth. And then I will use my instrument to fine tune it and make sure that the tooth is covered appropriately and building up the function of the tooth back to its original functionality as best as you can with the glass ionomer. And then it's a process of waiting for the glass ionomer to set because again, we are using a glass ionomer that is not light cured. And so we will wait. And then once it has mostly set, we'll give the patient a break and just check the occlusion. And that concludes our video on silver diamine fluoride application with the SMART technique.